The Detroit Red Wings season is over. After getting a point against the Montreal Canadiens, they still had a shot. But Philly pulled their goalie. And Elliot Friedman, I, I, wanna, I, wanna, I think it was Elliot Friedman, who tweeted it this morning that this was going to be a possibility. That if it's a tie game late, Philly would pull their goalie. And they did. And this happened. Save in. Empty net for the Flyers. Extra attacker out. And Oshie with a chance to put it away. We'll do just that. Washington gets the win, and even though Detroit did get a point there, and, uh, and, and with David Perron with 3.3 seconds left getting the goal, it's not enough to bring Detroit into the playoffs. Now, before I see any comments, not mad, I'm not crying about it, but damn, man! No, nah, it was a fun season. Um, I know a lot of people wanted my thoughts on what happened and how the season ended and the Detroit Red Wings as a whole. Uh, first off, GG's to the Habs. Holy crap, the last two games of the season ended up being super entertaining. Uh, back and forth, back and forth. And uh, Detroit with a couple crazy comebacks. That is going to be a fun thing to watch in the future. Detroit and Montreal uh, over the next, you know, however many years. Uh, both have very good young cores coming up and it's going to be a lot of fun. Am I disappointed that the Wings are not in the playoffs? Obviously, like as a fan, you want to see your team in the playoffs. It's been seven years, now it's eight years. But man, was this ever a fun season? And I, I haven't had this much fun watching hockey at this point in the year for the Detroit Red Wings. And I don't know how long, right? Like it's been a very long time. And this is some of the most entertaining hockey I've actually been able to watch as a Wings fan for ever since I've been a content creator, actually. Um, ever since I've become a content creator. So that's kind of funny. There's an absolute ton of questions to be answered if you're Steve Eisman in the Detroit Red Wings. Will Patrick Kane be coming back? Lucas Raymond and Moritz Sider need contracts. How much are they going to get? And will there be any big moves this offseason? Will we go out and get a new goalie? Who's going to be coming in on defense? Because they can't have the same defense that they had this year. If Philadelphia just takes that game to OT, man, oh, who knows what could have happened. But Philly pulls the goalie and they end up losing in regulation. So Detroit's, even though they got a point, they're done. But it was just such a fun uh, couple of games here against Montreal. Like the the Lucas Raymond comeback, like the, the goal with a minute left and then the overtime goal on, uh, actually that was last night. And then tonight, David Perron, 3.3 seconds. Against Evans. Scramble, face off, comes back, quick shot. Oh, 3.3, David Perron! Pushed it to a shootout. Like, it sucks. Yeah, Detroit, even, you know, with, uh, with a win, uh, wouldn't have been able to get it. So, um, it, it's not the end of the world. Um, Habs fans didn't end our season, which is something I'm very fortunate to say because there's a lot of Habs fans that watch the channel and, and watch me on Twitch, and I would have heard the uh, I would have heard so much about it. But with Washington winning, uh, the game actually didn't end up mattering. But it was still an absolute ton of fun these last two games. Now, with that being said, let me just go ahead and do something super quickly. Oh my God, Philly! You gotta be freaking kidding me! Why would you do that? All right, now that that's over, uh, the Wings ran out of magic. It is what it is. Good luck to the Washington Capitals as they take on the New York Rangers in the future, next couple days. I will have a playoff prediction that I'll do, and I'll go through each team and each matchup and uh, give you guys what I think is going to happen. Now, unfortunately, it will not contain the Detroit Red Wings. And Pittsburgh's game tomorrow now is pretty much completely pointless. If you guys want to keep chatting about the Detroit Red Wings, the NHL playoffs, and everything to do with hockey, the link to my Discord is down below in the description. Come stop by, as we'll be watching the playoffs together and talking hockey and all that fun stuff. But hey, I'm not heartbroken about Detroit not making the playoffs. It was an absolutely awesome season. I had a lot of fun watching them. Lucas Raymond is a star. I cannot believe how good this man is. And the game is actually not over yet. Um, it's in a shootout. So I'm watching the shootout. As uh, I'm recording the video, the Washington game's already over, so this shootout really does mean nothing. But hey, if Detroit wins, they get that 41st win. They win half the games they played this year, so come on, Detroit. You can do it. And hey, look, it's Patrick Kane in what could be his final moment as a Detroit Red Wing in the shootout, trying to give Detroit a point that doesn't matter. But let's see what happens. Patrick Kane. Arriving late, what a presence. <laughs> and the Red Wings win it. He's in. He shoots. He scores. Patrick Kane wins the game for the Detroit Red Wings. They cannot make the playoffs. 
Detroit gets the W, and you can see how dejected they are on the ice, too. They just won a game, and I've never seen a team so sad. 41 wins on the year for Detroit. Next year, please, playoffs, I beg, but this year was a ton of fun. Thanks for watching, guys. No, I'm not heartbroken. I know you guys wanted to see me yell and scream, but I'm not gonna yell and scream. That's not what I do here. I'm a very positive person, and that's just how it is, you know? Why, 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 why? <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Stay frosty.